Hello and welcome to the G27 Road Warrior with me, Movie Scouts 007, where we play Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm going to apologise up front if the audio is crap. I'm afraid uh, I jiggled around with my setup, uh, moved things. I've added a woefully inadequate USB 2 uh, hub, uh, which I've, I'm, I've had to box up and I'm going to send back because... Well, it was appallingly rubbish and didn't work. But I've, in, in moving everything around, I seem to have lost the quality of the audio on my microphone. I have been fiddling around with it for an hour and I haven't got particularly spectacularly sophisticated setup for the microphone. It just plugs in and it uses the... Well, it, just, it catches the audio with my, uh, with my NVIDIA experience software. Um, so I, yeah, something's going to have to change. So, uh, th that is a, an expense for another day. Um, it's a nightmare, but really there's not really a great deal I can do about it. Apart from stop making these videos and, uh, <laughs> that's not going to happen. I have had a week long break from making these videos primarily because i couldn't get anything to work like i said I've, I've mucked around i've added a uh, i acquired some controllers and and unfortunately oh that is not going to be happening all the time is it oh no yeah i've got a excuse me hold on a second right that is a drive. It's the drive I've got all my photographs on. It's aged. It uses a disc. It's it needs to be replaced post haste. It's awful. And um, yeah, I'm going to move of all of my photos to another drive uh, temporarily because I've got a feeling this thing is just going to crash and burn. Anyway, so that is neither here nor there. Uh, we oh no, I don't want that. Sorry, we are because there's been an update. We're on version 1.27, uh, as promised. Oh, we're in London. And um, just, oh, hello, no, reset navigation. We are just, I'm just double checking because uh, I was a bit worried that uh, the um, Rust map and ProMods uh, bits were no longer a part of this map, but because it was. It gave me a worrying message. Anyway, so we're in London. Uh, we uh, did uh, we did acquire the uh, Swansea garage. I did that off camera. I drove from London to Swansea, and then I drove via Croydon, another uh, location that we visited that ha we haven't brought the garage for. And I acquired the Croydon garage, and we're now in London, and we should be rested, and we should be. Uh, ready to go uh, we have we have leveled up so there are going to be some upgrades to apply if we should decide and I couldn't give a rat's tiny bottom about any of these it's an exhaust and a rim an exhaust and a rim exhaust and a rim an exhaust and a rim an exhaust and a rim an exhaust and a rim yeah couldn't care less couldn't be less interested if I tried skill points on the other hand Ooh, skill points yes do we go for the final adr which is explosives not poison uh, and it's not what's that what were they class three was flammable for us uh, toxic and infectious substance uh, yeah no so the, the the class four adr class six adr sorry uh, oh no, it counts it as class 8. We skip class 7 and go straight to 8. We also skip class 5, bizarrely enough. It went from 4 to f 4 to 6 and then 6 to 8. Corrosive substances. Or we could go long distance, which would give us a, a, a an amalgamated total of 30% higher reward for delivery difference, distances longer than 3,000 kilometers. We can go for high, de high value deliveries. Uh, again, 30% higher reward. Uh, for high value deliveries we could go for fragile cargo gives us uh, a, a, this one would be a 25% accumulative 
or a 5% increase for delivering a fragile load, just in time deliveries. 15% uh, higher reward, that's a 3% increase for finishing an important delivery. 25% higher reward, 5% increase for finishing an urgent delivery. Or we could go eco driving. I am going for the money. I'm going for the money because I'm greedy, greedy, greedy. Actually, no, I don't need. Do I need the money? Do I really need the money? No, do you know what? Sorry, I'm going for the money. I'm greedy. Uh, just a quick company manager update. We've got 22 garages and uh, 77 trucks, 74 drivers. Okay. Uh, we have. Okay. Uh, we need to. <laughs> what the hell? We've got 77 trucks, but only. Hmm. Hmm. Truck manager. Uh, how have we. How have we missed? Oh, hello. Okay. So, Croydon. Ha <laughs> ha! We didn't put any drivers in Croydon. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's go to the recruitment agency quickly. I apologise to everybody who couldn't give a f monkey's flying uh, toss about this stuff. But uh, uh, yeah, oh hello. She's going to Croydon. And we're going. Oh, hello. The volume on this is very low. I'm wondering. Eh, I'm wondering. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, nobody's got flipping um, long distance, have they? Oh, there we go. Ethan, thank you, Ethan. You're going to Croydon. And finally. I'm um, fidgety about long distance because if they don't have long distance, they tend to stick in the local area. And if you don't, uh, so we're down at 63,000. That's fine. Right. So uh, we're in London. Uh, let's go to the, um, oh, I should just double, double check the only way I know how. Yeah, we're well rested and we've got full health. Let's go to the job market, get ourselves some work. So remember, we're back in London. We got punted there by the update, 1.27. And what have we got? We've got Stockholm, which we've been to, because that's Stockholm. Linkoping, which we've been to. Malmo, we've been to. Bruno, we've recently been to. Vicenza. Hang on, Vicenza. Oh no, no, I didn't want that. Ugh, Vicenza. Double clicked without my bleeding permission. Vicenza is not there. Oh, there it is. Oh, have we been to Vicenza? Do you know what? I don't think we've been to Vicenza. It's only thirty-nine thousand pounds. But yeah. Oh hello. It's only thirty-nine thousand pounds. Ooh, Stockholm was seventy thousand pounds. But we haven't been to Vicenza. Why the hell not? Let's go to Vicenza. Set that as our GPS destination. So uh right. Right, I am I'm ready. So we don't need to do anything because I did all of that um, before we started. I did all of that while I was chasing my way to Swansea and Croydon. And as soon as I got back, I um, stuck, stuck myself. Oh, hello. oh, I just bashed. There we go. No, I don't want to be in fifth. I want to be in first. Uh, yeah, the audio on everything is really super low. That's... Hmm, okay. <laughs> oh, hang on. I have a feeling I know why. Uh, nope, I don't think it's that either. Oh, I lowered the volume on my... Um, 
using my fancy new keyboard I lowered the volume uh, but that doesn't seem to be the problem it's still quite low I'm wondering if it's an issue with my headphones my headphones are the, the next two div uh, purchases are going to be related to audio um, and I need a set of speakers and I need a new pair of headphones because these are not particularly comfortable they're adequate um, but they're not particularly comfortable. They're not really meant for gaming, to be honest. Them, they're 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 no normal headphones. They've had a um, they've had a, a Velcro patch attached to them so that my uh, head tracking device, my track hat clip, sticks to them, uh, which is how I am moving. I'm attaching them to uh, yeah to that. But um, yes. Oh, thirsty and drifting, thirsty and drifting. Right, so um, we're heading into, we're heading out of London, to be honest, which is a bit interesting. So I'm guessing our depot that we're collecting our load from is outside London. Please tell me we didn't we didn't select Croydon. Uh, no. I think we might have horribly we might have selected Croydon <laughs> which would be you know just frankly typical of me to have um, I don't know, I've been indicating for half a mile uh, right once we hit the those little flashes the two there and the one that's a distance to the junction and traditionally I and I'm in ninth which is which is probably f oh which was fine for this junction, so I'm out of the junction now, I don't need that. Uh, my hope is that I haven't picked a job up from Croydon, which would be idiotic, but in fact it's a depot outside London, and that's all it is. Um, yes, yeah, so, um, I need a set of speakers, and I've, se I've um, selected as my choice, because it uses up very little desk space, but apparently has great sounding audio, is the Bose Companion 20, which is um, just two speakers that also come with a little dial that allow you to um, change the volume, which would be my preferred way. It and also has a button that allow you to slap uh, to um, to mute. I am going to IKEA, I believe. Fair enough, and I am. I'm going to IKEA. It's interesting. The IKEA in this side of London is, in fact, in Croydon. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot get a break with that with the uh, gearing. It will not let me change gear rapidly. <laughs> Um, so yes, uh, there are two IKEA, two big IKEAs in London, one in Wembley and one in Br well, one in Brent, one in Croydon. Um, when we lived in North London, the Wembley one was by far and away the closest. We now live in South London, and as such, I don't think we're going to IKEA. We're going to Euro Goodies. Uh, Euro Goodies rather than IKEA. So have we got the right place? Vicenza. Let's let's take that jump. So we're gonna have a short stint on the um, on the Eurostar. That's not gonna be enough to. Uh, uh, it's not going to be nearly enough uh, to qu qualify as a rest. I see the little light for the reversing going on, which is kind of cool. Right, can we hook up at this angle? Because that would be cool. Yes, we can. Right, so let's hook that bad boy up. Right, and we're good to go. Let's try not to clout the load. 
oops, without clouding the microphone in front of me. So remembering that I'm in the United Kingdom and that I have to stay on the left hand. Oh, I was indicating the wrong way. Do you know it's one of the issues with the G27? In fact, most. Uh, gaming wheels is that the paddles move with the wheel if you're racing that is absolutely fine in fact it's probably preferable because it means you don't have to move your fingers too far from where you are holding in fact quite a lot of drivers including myself hold the wheel with our hands on the paddle when you're using the flappy paddles as an indicator however or you're driving a game you're driving in a game where the steering is a lot less direct then it starts to become an issue um, I flicked the indicators assuming that I was holding it in the right place and in fact I flicked for the opposite direction and that's because Whoa. I thought he was gonna clout me there I still haven't got anything agricultural yet mm -hmm. Ah, uh, let's, let's see what our load is like. So, we're taking beans to Vigenza, f uh, four euro goodies, uh, to LKWL log. Whoever the heck that is. We have 47 hours with which to do it. We have to sleep in nine hours. Uh, oh, hello, some money's coming. And it should take us 24. So, oops. 47... 24 so we've got an yes 20 24 25 26 hours 36 hours so we've got a few hours to play to play with sorry just getting myself in a more comfortable position and I'm locking off my my chair so that it doesn't recline backwards which would be at odds with my seating as a driver of a large truck Oh god, my water bottle needs washing. It's starting to smell of stale water, which is um, possibly going to make me ill. So, we are trucking. Um, yes, so last week I had real problems getting this all to work. Like I said, um, uh, I added a USB drive, I re, a, a recable, it's, it's made no difference, it's still an absolute mess of cabling back there which I need to address. Um, I don't know where anything is, I need to label all of my USB sockets so I know what I'm switching on and what I'm switching off. Um, I, yes, I've got, I, I've got to get an extender for, um, and an additional USB hub. I've got to find a USB 2 hub that works because certain devices like, for instance, my gaming wheels prefer USB 2 to USB 3. What else have I got to do? Yeah, I've got to label all of the power um, circuits so I know that what I'm switching on and switching off. I did a couple of things which are good. I managed to get my keyboard into the back of, plugged into the back of my computer. It had been snaking across the desk and plugged into the top of the computer this is bad news um, I currently have uh, my microphone plugged into the top of my computer I want that to be honest plugged into a USB hub that I can turn off when I'm doing anything related to iTunes the microphone interferes oh, I should be in 11 interferes with the audio uh, as I discovered with a couple of my when I was uh, re uh, reloading all of the CDs that we lost. Oh, I know. Oh, street lights went out. Interesting. I haven't seen that happen before. Um, yeah, I was. I, we lost. We lost our CD drive. Oh, oh sorry, our USB drive, external USB drive that had all of our music on it. Oh, I know. And I had to put all the CDs back in. I am going to go through the process of replacing those with digital versions so that if it ever happens again, I just have to spend half an hour clicking uh, download on the... Um, I'm going mental. 
I'm losing it. I'm properly losing it. Uh, download on the the the, uh, the files uh, on a. Well, oh, I'm struggling to speak English. How is this even possible? I bought all the music. I'm buying all the music from a, a website. I don't want to advertise them because I think they have scummy work, um, work practices. Um, um, but unfortunately, I'm kind of tied into them for several reasons. Um, now they don't pay tax on goods sold and bought, which is also a bit colossally scummy, but they're getting away with it because they're huge. But it's because they're huge that they can offer these discounts, and it's also huge. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, the, the the idea will be if a seat, if a drive goes, I don't have to have a second backup. Um, I've just I just have to um, click download, and then all the music will return. I can't have essentially I've got it on an external drive um, so that it can go from computer to computer so that for instance when we go to visit my in-laws in New Zealand we can just take the drive with us and all of our music is there um, can't do that if it's on the hard drive and also iTunes prefers to use a hard drive uh, that's inside the machine and it prefers to use the iTunes music folder which I loathe, detest and hate we don't use. I've, I use iTunes to get the music on to our to onto my iPhone. I use iTunes to move the music to the computer from the CDs. Um, but we don't use the iTunes folder, and I ch and I choose a specific folder to save that music to. don't know why they do that that's just yeah that's very douchey oh I tell you what I do need water when I'm when I'm driving and speaking you do need to lubricate the um, you do need to lubricate uh, the vocal cords because they get quite dry so you're sucking when you're speaking you're sucking a lot of air into your throat and that has a tendency to dry your throat. It's the same sort of principle as when you're running and you're breathing in, you'll notice you get quite dry throat when you're doing that. It's just because the air passing over is helping in the in moving the water away and moving any moisture away from your throat. I don't understand the technical specifics, but I, I think that's the gist of it. If I were you, I wouldn't take what I said as gospel. I, <laughs> I would do some research if you really care. Now, I don't think there is a bridge like this in the United Kingdom uh, in near London. There is one in Bristol. It runs south to uh, from Bristol city centre, from Bristol, the edge of Bristol city centre, to I think a place called Abbey Meads. And it has this kind of view, but I don't remember anything going from London to Dover that looks like this. I could well be wrong, and it wouldn't be the first time. It wouldn't be the first time at all. Ah, right, so, um, acquisitions this month. I got a uh, Contour uh, shuttle, Pro Shuttle, which is a little device which is supposed which is going to aid me with video editing it means i can jog and shuttle backwards and forwards it doesn't quite work as i wanted it doesn't go quite as fast i have quite long video files and i need to shuttle through them quite quickly and uh, it shuttles through them the, the degree that of the sp sorry i'm rubbing my eye which is why the camera keeps bouncing up and downwards uh, it doesn't scrub scrub through the video files as quickly as i need it to do and um which is uh, which is not optimal, but um, I am investigating a way to make that happen. And uh, yeah, I would like it sort of a that the more you turn the dial, the faster it goes kind of process. And at that moment, it's kind of goes. It's got two speeds: uh, slow and a bit faster than slow, which isn't perfect. I yeah, I need it to be able to scrub through. Um, like tens of minutes uh, every couple of seconds just because I'm going through that uh, my files 
um, the, on this on Euro Truck on American Truck uh, at the moment I'm doing a lot of telltale games and I need to scrub through and eliminate things like deaths just because I'm embarrassed uh, no because uh, they're a long fight oh hello British police car I like it oh this is not good this is a hill start Uh. Yep, I am crap at hill starts, and I don't know where, what because um, I'm not crap at hill starts in real life. I can wholeheartedly assure you, I can do a hill start with the best of them in real life. Uh, but in this game, I am absolutely pants at it, and I never used to be. When I was playing the keyboard road area, I don't think I ever had a problem with, with this. I think it's just my clutch control in this game is, um, it sucks. I don't know whether it's because I'm not getting any feedback. You do get a tremendous amount of feedback from a real clutch. You've got that binding point thing that you, you f that your drivers, hello. Turning left down here, we're going to Folkestone. Oh, we're going Channel Tunnel. Um, yes. Um, so what was I saying? Uh, I've completely lost my brain. Interesting. Okay, um, yes. Oh god, I wish I could remember what I was talking about. It's at this point I wish I could rewind this video. Um, oh yes, I was talking about the scrubbing. The um, the um, long large files. So yeah, I go, I go through... I, I've got my, fi my videos on YouTube tend to be quite long. They tend to be between... <laughs> between... <laughs> between 30 and 120 minutes. So that's half an hour to... Uh, to two hours, they tend to be. They tend to come in. I um, mean, my Euro Truck videos tend to come in between. Oh man, I was just make sure I'm. Oh, well, I've done it. I've done it anyway. I might as well blast through. Um, my Euro Truck videos tend to be between an hour and a half and two hours. Um, that's my videos. I was I was contemplating actually. It's something I wish that I'd contemplated from the get go. Is that I end the videos, uh, split them up where I rest. But the trouble is sometimes, sometimes I will rest towards the end of a video. It won't be a natural stopping point. Um, but had I approached say, taken that approach from the get go. It might have been less of an issue, and I might have gotten into the habit of um, of, di of sort of organising my videos that way. It does make for um, oh, hello, sorry, pulling my sock. My sock was bunching at the toe, and it was catching on the pedals. Um, yeah, it does. Yeah, it make it makes if you're trying to split the, uh, if you're trying to rest halfway through a video and you're trying to split the video in two it makes it awkward because it's not the way you would drive a journey you wouldn't as a truck driver you wouldn't go yep yep I'm resting halfway you would go be like I'm gonna do as much of this journey as I can for as long as I'm legally allowed to and then I will stop uh, which is which is how truck drivers approach it they, they drive for as long as they're legally allowed to and then they stop and obviously you can't do that um so uh yeah. Am I turning right to the channel tunnel? And I cut that corner like a really bad driver. <laughs> and it's not here. It's here. We are turning. I 
I'm going to take the left spot here. Ooh, E Acres, and Aria. It's quite bon. I, I, I giggle every time I see the, Ar the Aria loads. Aria is where I got most of my. Um, hang on, sorry. 35 minutes for £249. Not a great deal of money, and it's not going to be any kind of rest. Oh, <laughs> listen to that train. Right, Aria is where I got the components for my first computer build. Not this computer build. I had a computer um, which I absolutely loved, but I made a colossal error. Uh, just as AGP, which is the format, the socket for graphics cards, was becoming obsolete, I go and buy myself an AGP motherboard, and then when my graphics card breaks, I can't get hold of a bleeding AGP graphics card for love nor money. And so all I could use that computer for was the internet and office. And it, it became useless as a gaming PC. It just wouldn't load games. Whereas this um, doesn't seem... I could turn the lights off. Well, I will turn the side lights on. It, uh, P PCI, PCIe, uh, which is... Um, I can't remember the, 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 what the acronym stands for, I do know it. I'm sure some clever clogs will um, write out in the comments what it means, but uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. I, knew, I do know the E stands for Express, I believe, although I'm now losing confidence in even that. Dude! No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> I'm the wrong side of the bloody road. That would be that would be why he's um he's pissed at me. Right, so let's let's let's, let's get on the right side of the road. <laughs> oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. Come on! Oh, for Christ! Really, seriously? Come on! Come on! I'm not going to wait for him. Now that I can sneak by him, he can sod off. He's being super pretentious. Uh, they are a little risk averse. Uh, uh, Callie, here we come. Alright. Alright, we're going on this one. joining this road so let's get some speed up because we don't want to be holding people up and in fact we can just go straight onto the road I don't know what that sign was about it went too fast and I couldn't read it so yes so um, I bought a USB stick it's supposed to have seven USB 2 sockets Hmm, it was a pile of pants. I'm exaggerating, but it felt like it had a two inch USB cable, which is just, I'm, I want the thing to sit in the back of the computer, and then I want it to sit, the, I want it to plug into the back of the computer, sorry, and then I want it to sit on the desk, and it couldn't do that. It just, it won't, it won't do it. Um, the, it, in order to get it on the desk, it's kind of partially pulled out the bleeding um, computer, which renders it utterly utterly useless so so there was that flipper neck way too fast um, then uh, the other problem is that uh, four of the sorry one of the um, one of the lights basically each one each socket's got a switch and a light so that you know which one is on and uh, <laughs> Well, the lights just never came on, 
so you're not 100% certain if the device is on or not if it's working or not you're not sure if the socket's working or not um, and then uh, I had a device well, actually idiotically I had my keyboard plugged into it just because I forgot to plug my keyboard at the back of the computer um, and because the computer because the keyboard lights up whether the computer's turned on or not I was like nah I don't want that um, um, I decided to plug it in it would just turn the computer on the keyboard on and off on and off like some irritating kid flicking the light switch and going it's a disco it's a disco it's a disco um, so yeah that went uh, okay we're not going fast enough to warrant being in this and it g goes down anyway okay. come on put your foot down I think you're supposed to be a Persia aren't you is that a new car design I think it might be you know I think that might be a new car model I don't know whether it's supposed to be a Persia oh, what come on stop brake checking me you douchebag or I will hit you I'm of a mind. I'm in a bad mood. I'm sweating. It's taken me an hour to get the um, uh, the microphone to, to even record audio. It's uh, I, I had to use a Microsoft tool to uninstall and reinstall the Logitech software, just so that the computer would recognise that I've got a G27 instead of a Driving Force Pro. Uh, the reason that is important is because the Driving Force Pro doesn't come with a clutch and it doesn't come with a shifter which is super bloody friendly it's really colossally irritating that and that is the standard software for the G27 I've got a G29 downstairs but the G29 is downstairs because I have a PS4 and the PS4 doesn't work with the G27 it only works with the G29 and the G, well, the G29 works with both the PS3 and the PS4, so yeah, so that's staying downstairs. Uh, unless I can afford a G29 for upstairs, and if I did that, the wife would literally take my head off, and other parts of my anatomy that I would rather not talk about in the pub in the public domain. She's already annoyed. Alright, so I uh, bought the USB hub, I bought the Contour Shuttle, um, one I'm pleased with, one I am sending back. I also bought a Cytec Rhino X56, which is a uh, HOTAS uh, throttle and stick. Oh, it's a yoke, and it's a, really it's a yoke and stick, but HOYAS doesn't sound quite as cool as HOTAS, so... Um, it doesn't work with uh, IL2 yet. I've got to program each button individually. It does work with Elite Dangerous, but I don't know what all the flipping buttons do yet. <laughs> so I'm flicking wildly trying to. I spent 20 minutes trying to work out how to use a contextual menu <laughs> just to launch the ship from. Yeah, that was not funny. It's all good now, though. <laughs> I just wished. Yeah. Oh, the the other problem I've got with this, it, it, and it's a problem I have with all controllers. Um, I have it with this, the G twenty seven in this game. Is that it will refer to Joy number three, Joy button number four. I don't know what the hell that is, and none of these Joy buttons are lo are, are labelled, and so it's like, yeah, that's 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 cool and everything but you gotta tell me what the hell that is either label all the flipping buttons with what you're gonna call them so that I can just look at the button and see or don't do that give them a, a specific name uh, oh, so I have to have a map I have to have a map of my wheel and I'm going to have to create a map for my uh, my X56 just so I know what the actual hell uh, each button is called so that when the game says press X, uh, press Joy 3 or, or whatever it is to activate this 
I'll be able to look at that map and I'll be able to go, ah, yeah, that's what this is. <laughs> oh, oh, hello, I need to turn right, yeah, I'm glad I spotted that. Oh, God, I've got an itchy, itchy nose, and the trouble is, it's I've got glasses on, and between the glasses and the uh, flipping head tracking device I can't get to the nose comfortably without looking down and knocking something so God, everything in this game is quiet I'm going um, if the audio quality of this because I'm going to have to knock the audio up just so that you can hear everything if the audio quality is appalling I'm truly sorry <sighs> I'm going to have to get um, and it, since it's adding to the list of stuff I really can't afford to buy but it, it, to keep doing these I'll have to get um, uh, an Audio Technica microphone that's got one of those weird sockets and then get a a preamp just to add to the flipping cables as if I didn't have enough cables I was hoping, I mean, because this has been up to now, it's been fine. I don't understand why the audio is suddenly quiet, but there you go. This happens to me a lot. I'm not a technical expert, and so when something goes wrong, I'm not 100% certain how to deal with it. And so I have to do a lot of internet hunting and a lot of trial and error. And chances are, if I've missed a week, or if I've missed a session of game uh, of an, um, an upload, the chances are it's because um, I've had a technical issue that I've had to spend a week researching. The trouble is, I can't do a lot of that research at work. I don't have the time to do it. Um, work is quite manic of full on, and when you're managing people, it's not really good form to sort of like spend an hour surfing the internet at work instead of working. Oh, oh, hello, easy. Um, that's just there's no damage yet. We have got 17 hours left. Uh, we do have two hours until we have to rest. We have to find a rest stop. Hmm. There are going to be two rests in this journey. Um, yeah, so um, so yes, that's um, that's been an issue. Adding a new device sometimes causes conflict, um, which is also an issue. Rerouting, routing. Oh God, I've been watching far too many too many rerouting, rerouting cables to new USB sockets causes an issue. It shouldn't. It really shouldn't, but apparently it does. Because um, I've rerouted the camera, and that caused an issue. Camera wouldn't work. It now works, but it did. Um, and when I say camera, the camera, uh, the PS3 camera that I use to see uh, the um, uh, oh, hello, easy. The camera, the PS3 camera that I use to see the head tracking device. It, um, yeah, it just wouldn't see the head tracking device. I have no idea why. It just wouldn't do it. Um, so yeah, that was. That was irritating. Hello. I heard the first yawn. So we are looking for a rest stop, and would you believe it, there's a rest stop directly ahead. And with just an hour and a half left, we're going to fill up with fuel, even though we don't really need to, but why would you not take the opportunity to fill up when the opportunity presents itself? That's just stupid. Right, let's uh, drop a gear. We don't need to indicate anymore. Oh, we don't think we can get fuel here. Alright, okay. We won't get fuel. We will simply park. And engine off. Uh, parking brake on. And let's rest. Right. Uh, engine on. Parking brake off. Lights on. I 
nothing coming, I don't think. No lights to indicate anything was coming, which is the most important thing. Alright, look at our income. We had £63,000 uh, when we started this journey. Uh, and that was... Do you know what? I can't remember. 26, 6, 10 hours ago. 10 hours ago, we've made 300 grand more. Yeah, we've made just under 300 grand in in 10 hours. It's the benefits of your empire. We're reaching the point now uh, where we can fully um, stock. We can buy and fully stock every garage. Um, I am tempted to start doing that off camera and then just telling you I've done it. Um, I'm going to go out because I don't want to be caught as I have been on several oh hang on I've got no bleeding choice I've got to use that right 37 pounds I can't go on the outside once that sucks the big one and the reason it sucks the big one is because I don't want to run into traffic and I also don't want to be collected by trucks trying to swoop from all of those other lanes into that inner lane. So, for just under 16 hours to go. I think it was a 26 hour journey. I think. Uh, we have 29 hours. So, yep. For 16, 29, that gives us. 16, 26, 27. Yeah, we've got two hours spare if we take another rest. So we've built ourselves enough time in to have a, uh, an additional rest cycle, which we're going to have to do. But we don't have to. Um, now that we have built our, our rest in... Oh, shit. Oh, Oh well, okay, we're going to get satisfactory. We're going to get a satisfactory for that because we've done 2% damage to the load. Less than 1% you'll get good work. More than more than 1% you get satisfactory. And we were on for an excellent. We've done 10 hours without clattering into every, anything. Grr. Oh well, uh, yes. So, my Rhino. It does work with... Um, Elite Dangerous, out of the box. Out of the box, Dangerous works with it brilliantly, which is fantastic. I just don't know where all the buttons are, and the game is very intuitive about helping you find that. There are sometimes it just doesn't tell you what button at all to use, and in some cases, it doesn't use the mouse. You'd think there were, you know, the mouse just moves the camera, and I've got a head tracking device. Obviously, when I tr when I tried it, the head tracking device wasn't working. It, to be honest, it's one of the reasons why I tra tried Elite Dangerous. I can't drive this without head tracking anymore. It just drives me bonkers. Um, so, um, yeah, I tried Elite Dangerous because I think you can get away with that one. Um, it Once I've got the head tracking working, I won't have to use the point of view... Um, the point of view uh, hat on uh, the Rhino because I will have head tracking, which means I can move the I can move. Oh shit! Oh, you're a douchebag, mate. You're an absolute douchebag. You can see I'm bloody indicating. No, okay. I'm gonna have to. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, oh, he's not even pulling a bloody load. Ugh. Okay, this is infuriating. And it's gonna be. T uh, it's, it's, at least it's redirected me. That's good. Uh, 
Um, yes. So uh, yeah, I w um, once I've got the head tracking on, um, Elite Dangerous should be slightly easier. Once I've got the map telling me what all the buttons do, that should be slightly easier. Um, I do like that they've got those big red. No, I thought there. Yeah, it's interesting. The ones I can use show up further away. Hello, Jeff. How you doing, mate? All right, Jeff. All good, Jeff. Hmm. I think that's a border one. So why wouldn't have gone through that border control? If it's a border control, it might not be a border control, it might be something. Oh, hello. That was a stutter. That was unpleasant. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, I think this has added a huge chunk to our journey doing this. Uh, yeah, we've lost about two hours. That's alright. We shall make it back, but we will get some petrol. Engine off. So, 93 pence for a litre. And we are shoving 368.86 litres for 346 pounds. Right. We should only need to stop once more, and that's for a rest. And we're not going to do that until we've hit about until we've got about five or six hours left of our journey. Getting a bit reckless, calm down, calm down, calm down, we're all good. So, uh, yes, so my Rhino is great, it's fantastic, but I've discovered that, that the two of the, well, two of the games that I need this Rhino for, I need to completely program it. Um, well, in fact, three of them. There's two Sturmovic games. Um, Sturm, IL-2 Sturmovic 1946 and IL-2 Sturmovic Battle of Stalingrad. You need to completely program the um, the controller, the, the X-56, before it will do anything. I tried um, Battle of Stalingrad and it assumed the throttle uh, was the uh, yoke. Um, f and I was flying in uh, Heinkel HE111 and it just it wouldn't respond to yoke instructions and uh, would only respond to uh, s instructions from the throttle control in one direction so essentially the thing just rolled and then turned into the ground and exploded every time so I need to completely faff around with oh god another where are we? France? Uh, so, 37 pounds. Let's rock a doodle. Oop, yep, we are in France. Metz is 200 miles away, we are, so we're still in central France. Uh, uh, Metz is a, is a city in France. 
It's also one of their football teams. Metz is a French. Uh, I think she's. I think it's Ligue 1. So. Um. Yeah, my Liverpool side. They're doing okay. They're not doing brilliantly. Um. They had a draw with Southampton yesterday. Yesterday, Sunday, the 9th, I want to say, of May. Is that right? Oh, s mm, 7th of May. Sorry. Monday the 7th. Uh, Sunday the 7th of May. Today's Monday the 8th. Um, yeah. I've just realised I haven't done something I should do, um, and it's too late to do it. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, uh, yeah, so um, they had a draw, which was extremely disappointing. They're at home. They could have won it. Um, in fact, they should have won it. They missed a penalty. First time that uh, our regular penalty taker, James Milner, has missed a penalty since 2012, I think. Alright. If this is just an annoying way of making me slow down, then I'm going to be super pissed. As if this road rejoins, I'm going to be super pissed because that little blue car has just made me slow down. It is as well. It's just a, a super stupid way of making me slow down. It's the game trolling me. The game is trolling me. I'm pretty convinced that the game is trolling me. That is just... And I'm, I'm not 100% certain what part, who owns this part of the map. But they've got whoever it is, SCS and Promods, they've got to get their act together and they've got to stop the bloody um, navigator from taking you off the sodding road and back onto it again pointlessly. No GPS in the world does that. No GPS in the world. The only G time a GPS will get you off a road at a junction and then put you back on is if the building works that are going to be going on for some time. It happened in England uh, on the M4 in Reading. They were essentially, they were rebuilding uh, the junction I think it's junction 11 of the M4 which is which is the main junction into the center of Reading they were re completely rebuilding it and so unless you were going into Reading in fact they would read they for a while they redirected everything away from that junction you just they made you because they were um, reconstructing bridge they were constructing bridges over it and stuff so to the, to expand the uh, uh, the number of lanes, they were changing it because it was only two lanes, and they needed it to be three and four at certain points. Oh, someone's levelled up. Oh, we're at six, three hundred sixty-three. So we've made three hundred thousand in thirteen hours. Okay. Sorry. More water. Oh god, I keep forgetting to move from ninth to eleventh, and it's all because it's, I'm going to blame American Truck Simulator because it won't let me have use the sixth gear slot, even though I've got thirteen gears. It won't let me use that sixth gear slot. I. Yeah. Um, yeah, this game won't let me have the odd, sorry, the uh, the even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. It makes me use the odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Oh, more money coming in, 368,000. Magnus, and I think he's, um, I think he's, uh, I think Magnus has leveled up. Uh, yeah, I think, I only think. Oh, 
you would have thought the number of journeys I've done in this, I would be slightly better than this. Thing is, I've done, I did nearly, I did over a hundred journeys in the keyboard road warrior, but not in. Hello. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> you know what that noise is? That is a thing disconnecting and then reconnecting. That's super bloody friendly. Yeah, it's a little early for me to rest just yet. I uh, yeah, don't need to rest for another six hours. So, uh, two more hours. And then I will probably take a rest cycle. So, we're talking ten, when it's at the ten hour mark, and that gives me an hour spare. I have lost. De going this, this way. Missing that junction has cost me uh, quite a bit. And it's cost me two hours at least. I would have had four spare hours. Ooh, 31 pounds. Alright, Jeff. Yes. So that was my expenditure with this much pay packet, uh, over and above my regular outgoings. You know, mortgage, council tax, electricity, internet, mobile phone, gas, electricity, water. Uh, I think that's the bills. Insurances. Yeah, I've got three insurances. Contents of the house, buildings, uh, exterior, the structure of the house is insured, the contents of the house is insured, and then the missus and I have got um, life insurance. Should one of us cark it, then the um, the mortgage is paid. <coughs> I need to be on the left hand side, but not going. To Mannheim, going to Strasbourg. And I think we're about to sail past the edge of Strasbourg, but we're not going to Strasbourg. We are, I think, going to face the very difficult challenge of driving through the Alps. Let's not go there. We don't want to disappear into Strasbourg as much as we're tempted to. Oh, please don't tell me we're going to rejoin that bloody road. Or I will s just lose it. Yep. Didn't need to do that. Didn't need to do that. <sighs> I'm going to say I'm infuriated. I'm going to say I'm infuriated. Because I'd, I'd be lying if I didn't. Oh, God. Grr. Right, we are. Going to get over because we do have to turn right. Here. Ooh. Offenberg. We're getting stuttering. I don't know why. Let's slow it down just a little. Which is what we should have done when we crashed into that flipping thing earlier. What the hell? Okay, you're seeing this stuttering, right? I'm getting 30 to 50 frames a second. Why the hell is the game stuttering? Oh, I wish I knew more about computers. Perhaps there's a lesson in this. Perhaps I should make myself learn more about computers. So we are heading in the direction of Offenburg and not Colmar. Although, strictly speaking, we have no choice. Because <laughs> the game is just sending us that way. Alright, okay. What am I doing? Oh, 
Okay. And we're off again. Ten hours, so we need to start looking for a rest stop, I think. Yeah. We've got four hours to play with. We need to have it there. Mm, wrong button. In 23 hours, so 10, 21 and a half. So we've still got an hour and a half. So we're building back that two hour gap. Which is good. Which is what we needed to do. <coughs> Excuse me. I get terrible phlegm in my throat when I'm talking and I don't know whether it's the amount of talking that causes the phlegm or, or not it's not very good for this this kind of job I say job, it's not really a job, I'm not earning any money from it at the moment um, uh, we're going to be exiting now And um, we can go uh, that was a bit tight I underestimated how tight that was going to be oh more money and we're going Uh, we are speeding somewhat, but I think we're fine. So Ooh. now we're on the lookout for a rest stop. We're not exiting here and stay on the road. I tell you, that's another that's another reason I know uh, that the audio is low is I'm not hearing the rumble strips, and I am pretty certain. That I've battered those rumble strips in this journey, um, and you may well, if I have turned the audio up, you may well hear the amount that I ride the rumble strips. I'm not. I don't know whether the the, the des I've got too much of a dead zone on this, or not enough of a dead zone, and I do steer. It's quite funny if I'm having to look at something else. It's one of the reasons why I'm reluctant to stream this, is because I know, in order to not crash. I would be ignoring the stream questions, and in order to ignore the stream questions, sorry, in order to read the stream questions, I would be crashing. And at the beginning, you don't have enough of a following to warrant a moderator who can read the questions, do you? I've been, I've been very lax on. Um, I used to watch a lot of lot of Twitch streamers, but I've been quite lax about doing that because just uh, my day is such. Is uh, sorry, I got a message and I, and I was wondering if it was from the wife because wife messages have to be read immediately. Um, oh hello, a rest stop. Yeah, I think we'll do that, which means going here. Yes, right, so, engine off, parking brake on. Alright, excellent, daytime. Turn that off. Oh, parking brake off. And let's enter Switzerland. We're in Jeden here. So, we should we're st still 11, and we've got 13 hours, so we're good to go. We shouldn't have to rest now. It should only take us 9 hours, and uh, we are good to go. We shouldn't need any fuel, we shouldn't need any rest between now and journey's end. So we've done it, we've timed it, we've made ourselves... Look at that, 519,000. 
That's some cash. <laughs> Drifting onto the wrong lane. Drifting onto the wrong lane. I think we need... To, yeah, we need to be on the right-hand side. Uh, we're all right, actually. This lane splits in two. As you can see from the overhead road sign, you can go either way in this middle lane. Gotthard. I've heard of Gotthard. Um, I've discovered a, um, a an artist, a musical artist, that I quite like just recently. In fact, in the last two weeks, a young lady called Tove Lowe. She's Swedish. She lives in America. Uh, she's pop dance style. With a bit of it's, it's interesting. Uh, her band is two drummers and a guy with a plethora of keyboards. Plethora. If you're a non-English first language speaker, means a lot. It in its crudest, at its crudest, it means a lot. Um, yes. And, um, yes, I really like Tovlo. Um, I discovered Aurora about two months ago. I've rediscovered, oh, hello, I've rediscovered Yazoo. Uh, I picked up their first album, which is called Upstairs at Eric's. Oh, I love that. It's got things like Only You and, um, don't go and situation and uh, what else is there? I think that is uh, don't go and. Uh, um, only you, which was then covered and taken to number one by a an a cappella group called the Flying Pickets. Ba da da dum, ba da da dum, ba da da dum, ba da da dum. Yeah, I like. Uh, yeah, so Yuzu, brilliant. Uh, Tovlo, on the other hand, is different. Uh, I couldn't begin. I don't have the history with with Tovlo's music to be able to draw to be able to pull her tunes from my house in the way that I just produced the, the, the Yazoo ones. Um, I, Yazoo uh, was a combination, it was a duo, it was um, a lady called Alison Moye and uh, a gentleman called uh, Vince Clark. Now Vince Clark was an, a founder member of Depeche Mode. He co-wrote and performed on their first album um, which was called Speak and Spell and then he left because uh, I think they were going to start touring and he just didn't want to do touring and he was famous suddenly and he wasn't comfortable with that so we split it off and started something new um, then uh, after two albums with Yuzu they kind of fell out not seriously they just yeah. and, and he went off and formed Erasure with Andy Bell and Andy Bell and Vince Clark have been a musical duo for 20 odd years. So, yes, a quick musical history of Vince Clark. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, oops, speeding offence. Do you know what? I could care less. I could care less. I couldn't care less, actually. No, I could care less is, is, is bad English. I couldn't care less. If you could care less, there's some less that you could care... Oh, another one. Are you kidding me? Now, that was a thousand pounds. In quick succession. And the police car's still there, so... Yep, there we go. There's another one. Bugger off, mate. Stop giving me bloody fines, you shitbag. <laughs> Sorry about the language. Ah, yes. So, um... My... Oh, hello. Interesting. 
That was very interesting. Do you see the upside down reflection? Do you see the upside upside down reflections? I don't know why this took Okay. Shouldn't exist there. They should cease to mm. So we are going into the Alps, which means we're about to go over the Alps, and then once we're the other side of the Alps, we should be in Italy. Oh god, I'm uncomfortable. Um get into this lane and it's traffic that's going to keep me honest so we've made half a million pounds nearly in this journey which is good I think what we're going to do is we're going to start um, we're very soon going to be in a position where I can start upgrading all of the trucks like relentlessly upgrading all of the trucks so all the drivers get the same engine as me the same cab as me the same paint job as me um, it's not necessary um, Although I'm wondering if the engine and gearbox upgrades uh, will, and also the uh, trailer upgrades, will allow them to go further and get to destinations faster. I'm wondering if the game is that sophisticated. I'm doubting it is, but I'm wondering if. It, I'm wondering if. Hmm. Interesting. Tunnels, the bane of my life, but keeping it in ninth gear keeps me honest because I have just lost twenty one hundred, two thousand one hundred pounds, which would have had me at fifty five. Oh, sorry, five, five hundred and five, five hundred. Oh God, I'm sounding like flipping Winston at Zuma. I can't add numbers up. All right, let's let's boot it until we hit the really wiggly bits. Once we hit the wiggly bits, then obviously we'll have to slow down. Ooh, more money. That's helped cover my egregious speeding fines. <laughs> I seem to be getting away with it now. I don't know whether that's because he's speeding faster than I am. <clears throat> That was a bit risky. Don't need a rest. We're good for the rest of the journey. In fact, we had to be honest, we haven't actually got that long left to go. Five hours and 44 minutes. Probably talking about 15, 20 minutes in game. And, um,. Yeah. Yeah, oh, blimey. Pull my speed down so the police don't yank me over again. I'm coasting now, I haven't even got my foot on any pedals. Such is... Now if this was American Truck Simulator with my brake full on all the time, 100% of the time, which 
I can't fix and it's infuriating, I would be stood stationary about half a mile ago. Austrian police? Is it no? Not Austrian. Swiss police seem to use BMWs. If that's to be believed. Oh, yes. So I still haven't decided what to do with my... I've had a, like I said, I've had a play with Elite Dangerous, I've had a play with Sturmovic, neither of which were particularly productive. Well, actually, no. The, the Sturmovic one wasn't productive. The, the hidden, the, the, sorry, not hidden and dangerous. Elite Dangerous. Have I, did I say hidden and dangerous at the beginning of this video? If I did, people would be confused. Why is he talking about using a, 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 a Hotas stick with a World War II stealth sim? Uh, no, I mean Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous, uh, it was okay, I was doing the training missions, but the trouble is not knowing what any of the buttons do um, makes it hard to um, to do anything um, slickly. The other problem I had with is I have not grasped how to um, use the uh, how to the correct time to pull out of uh, hyperspace or whatever it's called warp space and I keep pull, uh, um, pulling out of warp space too soon and I get told off in this training thing so we're leaving Switzerland and we're now entering Italy we are now we're on v virtually the home stretch because like I said we're now in Italy Turn right, so let's get out of this. So yes, two more expenses. One, are, I've, which I've mentioned already, which is the Bose Companion 20s. The other is the Logitech G933s, which are headphones. Currently I'm using a pair of Sony over-the-ear headphone, he ed headphones, oh my god, headphones, which are fine, the fidelity of the sound is fine, it's fine, they're just fine, but the problem with them, and it's a big problem for me, is they're deeply uncomfortable after about half an hour, and that's because the band is quite, is meant for a smaller head, and there's quite a lot of pressure, and when I play these games, I play them with glasses on, which means that the pressure pushes my um, glasses, it pushes the ear the earlobe into the glasses, um, which pushes uh, the glasses into my head. So I'm getting pain in the head, pain in the earlobes, and I'm uncomfortable. And they're not breathable. They're this pleather stuff, which isn't ble breathable, which 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 means I sweat. I sweat quite badly. The Logitech ones are not a pleathery material, they're a clothy material which is much more breathable. They go over the ears and uh, and they're much 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 more cushioned which means that there'll be no pressure on my ears, on my glasses. Um, I am reliably informed by a person who has reviewed these on YouTube who wears glasses and says they're comfortable. So we'll see. Um, the other the other benefit to these um, uh, are that it's a surround sound, which means that I'm able to... It's, a, it's an electronically produced surround sound, but it's still a surround sound that I currently don't have. Um which means that you get much more sort of audio fidelity when it comes to where stuff is coming from. That won't be as much use in Euro truck and American truck. It probably won't be much use in Elite Dangerous, but it will be useful in Sturmovic because I'll, when I'm being attacked, 
I'll know from whence the bullets are coming. It also won't be much use to me in Flight Sim X. I've got the Steam version of Flight Sim X. Um, I will probably want to pick up X Plane, but I don't want to pay £58 for it. Although I probably will. But X Plane is going to be. X Plane 11 came out recently. Um, so. Oh no, actually, no, I want this one. Because I want to be. I don't believe that that one uses the green thing. Oh no, it does, I could have. Curses. Oh, itchy nose. Oh, no, no money. Okay, fair enough. So, we're going straight on. We're not going to, I believe, we're not going to Milano or Torino. We're going to head in the vague general direction of Verona, which will take us to Vincenza, Venice, essentially. Vicenza, Venice. Oh, there's an airport nearby. I do need to head back into Scandinavia. Uh, there is a Steam achievement for using all of the ports in Scandinavia, and I don't think I've got it. So, uh, what else do I need? I need for my Steam achievements. Well, there's an the, yeah, there's an achievement I'm not going to get for some time, which is a hundred percent. Actually, no, I think I might have got that over my. I think that one is accumulated over your entire. Um, profile rather than your individual profiles. So I think I might actually have got that one. And it don't, obviously it only counts with the SCS official cities, so I don't have to worry about the um, Pro Mods ones. And there's an Italian police car. It's blue. It's that sort of weird mucky blue, which I uh, which I think is hideous. They are on the motorway. Uh, I think. Yeah, they have, diff they have like four or five different police forces. It's ridiculous. I remember when we were in Naples, there were undercover guys on dirt bikes roaming around trying to catch pickpockets, um, which was hilarious. They also um, they catch people doing drug deals. Basically, they're, they are in leather jackets on the streets. <laughs> That's hilarious. I watched them at it. I watched them. They've got these crappy dirt bikes, uh, which are really battered looking and the reason they're battered looking is because these guys don't give a rat's ass about them literally when they when they need to be on foot they just let go of the thing and the bike clatters to the ground and um, their ignition thing is on a curly wire so that you, yeah I, but I don't think they would care if it was stolen they are crappy burnt dirt bikes and they've got um, they've got a corruption police and then they've got a highway police who drive very super fast cars to catch people driving super fast when they shouldn't be. And they've got the regular, the regular police, polizia. Oh, we're super near. Now we're super near our destination. It's dusk, so I need to put my lights on. I don't need, ooh, don't need that. Can you can you see the pollets here? They are not. Those blue cars are not called pollets here, though. They've got a name that begins with C. I can't remember what it is, but that then pollets here, the town-based ones. Pretty sure they're not blue. Pretty sure those ones are white. Oh god, I'm pulling my trousers off as I sit up. Oh, don't drive into the police car. That is a an Alfa Romeo. Belief. Oh God. 
Yep, I can't get comfortable. I can't get comfortable. Oh. Venezia. Is it Venezia or Vinci Vicenza? Ooh. Venezia. Vicenza. Okay. I'm just... Now I'm just confused. Oh, hello. I need both bleeding hands to do this and I can't because I need one hand on the sodding wheel. There we go. <laughs> God, first world problems. <laughs> uh, just less out of interest to see how bad our damage is. Still 2%. Still going to be satisfactory. Which is not good. Oh, we have made a chunk of time up. We've still got 7 hours and 20 minutes, but only an hour and a half left in our journey. Uh, we've still got 5 hours before we need to rest, so uh, we are golden. Ooh, that's going to be 3.5 hours left to play with for uh, things like... Um, uh, buying up uh, the garage, stocking it up. And um, yeah, and it'll also allow us to do the um, repair and the rest cycle in the at the beginning of the next video. I am definitely not going to put you through me buying the garage and stocking it up. I've decided not to do that. It does mean that I will start every journey from a new garage in a new city instead of the the drop off point so oop yeah there we go so it's night time which is not ideal finishing the journey it's not really what i, I wanted from uh, my finishing my journey but there we go such is life sorry for the head wiggling I'm scratching again Scratching Optimus and uh, some more money. So I do, I think, need to get over as soon as I can. Oh, hello. Actually, no, I don't. Uh -huh. I know what's happening. And you need to get to the right. £29. Ah, curses. He's beating me out, and I need... Actually, no, I don't. No, I don't. Ignore me. Ignore me. I've seen what I need to do. I need to get over to the right. Because I'm about to exit here. Sadly, this journey is nearly over. And then I've got to start editing. <laughs> oh. 
me and the, I've just cannot seem to get myself to stop driving this as if it's a race car which is just mildly tapping the clutch just to get it to go the game desperately wants you to hammer that flipping uh, clutch all the way in Yeah, we've been here before. We've also got this garage. So, uh, we've been... Okay. Oh, I'm annoyed now. I thought we hadn't been here before. I was sure we hadn't been here before. But you can see, it's bright orange. We've been here before. Well, I'm annoyed now. I think we've also got the flipping garage. We definitely got the recruitment agency. So Where do we drop it off? Have we gone to the wrong place? Where's our drop off point? Where's our drop-off point? Where is our drop-off point? Uh. Oh! Right, where is it? Ah, there we go. Oh, it's way over there. Alright, okay. Do you know what? Let's just... usual style of completely arsing it up. <laughs> might not be too bad it might not be too bad I might have done it actually oh no <laughs> no I smacked into something there Okay. Uh, yeah, I was.
was wishful thinking. I don't know what I'm hitting. I'm hitting something. This is why I hate doing these at night. Because I'm hitting something and I don't know what it is I'm hitting because I can't see it. But I'm going straight. So, strictly speaking, I should just be able to back this bloody thing up. And that should be fine. doesn't like it sometimes there we go right so um, parking brake on and there we go satisfactory it's about what I expected yeah we did lose a chunk of money so uh, we got we satisfactorily delivered beans from London to Vicenza which is Venice uh, we drove 1,623 kilometres, it took us 42 hours and 18 minutes. We consumed 568.2 litres of fuel, for which we got a base reward of £24,086. We also got 1,623 XP. We got a proficiency bonus for level 29 of £10,477. We got a long term distance delivery bonus, long term distance, a long distance delivery bonus for skill rank 5 of £4,667. We also got 405 XP. We got a bonus for parking the trailer of 90 XP, which you kind of needed to do because we got a damage penalty and I knew this would happen. It, rock it rockets up when you park. It was at 2% before we parked. And then we, I think we bashed the bloody load into the parking bay. So it's 3.1%, uh, which cost us £4,879. It cost us 278 XP, all of which means we have a grand total of £34,351 and uh, 1,840 XP. Uh, we're still level 29 in structure. But the, uh, the G27 Road Warrior now has a lifetime experience of 96,412 XP. Uh, we're still heading towards 99,700 XP to get to level 30. Um, I don't think that will happen in the next journey. I think we're reaching the stage now where it's taking us two to three journeys to level up. I think you, yeah, I think that's what we're looking at. But we did take a huge chunk out of you know i think we were just a sliver and then we went into this so we took yeah i'm i'm saying it's about it's we, we're at the stage now where we're earning a quarter for every single journey anyway so <laughs> uh thank you very much for watching this uh, this journey with me uh thank you very much for sitting in in the uh sitting shot riding shotgun with me um whether you watched a minute or the whole video Thank you very much. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. If you didn't, you don't have to. Um, if you want to watch any more of these videos, then please click that subscribe button. If you don't want to, you don't have to. And if you know anyone who's interested, then let them know. Um, but you don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> hey, either way, until I see you in the next video, I'll see you on the road.